What a crossbody. Has them hooked. Jeez, and Dominic looking worse for wear now. This is not going to be good. We know what comes next. Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens. I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now and you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. A uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good, because as you know, there's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. 
so much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds. Well, look who it is. If it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on, don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting at? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what. The draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic. Maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Why would you want me in the tournament instead of Dom anyway? Because I want the WWE Universal title on my show where it belongs, and I am 100% sure KO will beat you. You have invoked the law of unintended consequences. See, you're thinking, maybe I throw this guy a bone. My guy Owens gets an easy first fight. But what you've done instead is inspire me. Is that right? See, I was looking to make it into the tournament and show the WWE Universe what I really got. But now... Now, I'm looking to go all the way just so I can take that championship away from you, you condescending reality show hack. You will never be champion, and you will never appear on SmackDown. Oh, good. There you are. I'm Troy Simpkin, associate but soon-to-be full-fledged producer. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro! Anyway, just wanted to make sure you had the lay of the land. I mean, you're already booked tonight, but normally these situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire, all kinds of things. I've been on Raw for a while now. I know how these things work. Okay, fine. Just trying to be helpful. Thanks, but I need to focus on my match. Good idea, since the kickoff show is starting soon. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that we won't be needing you for anything after the match, so feel free to head back to the hotel. Why would I go back to the hotel? I expect to win and keep fighting. Of course you do. Well, good luck. It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Glasgow. 
Go Scotland, weighing in at 235 pounds, the bad guy, UMG. Let's not get ahead of ourselves calling this guy the dark horse of the tournament. He's not even officially in it yet. I have to agree with you, Corey. Winning the WWE Universal Championship Tournament will be difficult enough, but to have to win an extra qualifying match first makes it nearly impossible. It's time to find out who will claim the final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. with a ticket to the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's going to be, Cole. Dirty, dominant Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show a little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the dark horse for a reason. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Dominic with a reversal. Ooh. Reversal! What a counter! Hoist it up. Down! <laughs> Tying up both of their opponents. Oh, oh, snap! snap. <laughs> oh no, look at this. Oh, twist in the neck. Rip cord. Oh my goodness. Nasty. He can do it here. Stops the ref count before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Arm pull. Side suplex. Rocket kicks. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways. They get harder to execute. Sent to the outside. Incoming. <laughs> Tornado DDT. You can see the anguish growing on his. Look out! Just one step ahead. Gets cut off. Tossed back into the ring. <laughs> what a crossbody. Has some hooked. Oh, Jeez, and Dominic looking worse for wear now. Ooh. This is not going to be good. We know what comes next. Oh, the demons are being summoned. Dirty Don is in serious danger. And now about to do it, folks. Here's your winner. The Bad Guy, We now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What? A win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more. KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously, are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying.
Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Champion? You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for, what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. All you are is some charity project for Regal. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. You make it to the final, I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Is that right? Hope you make it to the finals with some nice, short, easy matches on the way. I want everyone to know I beat you at your best. That's the spirit. Good luck tonight, brother. Same to you. I'll see you in the main event in a few hours. He's back again to compete in the championship tournament. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 235 pounds. disrespect to Dominic Mysterio, but the competition levels up a bit here with Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's one thing to take on KO fresh, but after already competing tonight? Good luck. It's almost time to see who advances and who goes home. Here comes the prize fighter, a man who always looks ready for a fight. And his opponent, from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. Owens has actually lightened up a bit, has formed a few friendships in WWE. Yeah, but you have to believe those are temporary at best because fighting is all KO knows how to do. There were not many people who expected KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Championship Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? The jerk in the curtain at SummerSlam is as close to the undisputed WWE Universal title as he's ever going to get. KO's about to turn Cinderella back into a pumpkin. Pretty sure that's the carrot. Tosses his man up through the second rope and down the floor. That was pumped up. Getting excited, understands this could be the turning point of this matchup. He's got him scouted. And gets tossed back into the mat. A ah, terrific combo. So precise. Incredible. Oh. Oh, he hit me left. Somebody better check his nose. God, ah, trampling the opposition. Owens running into some trouble. Owens is under the gun. And KO wasn't ready for the fight he got there. Super 
Oh, this is just torturous. Yeah, the death lock applied. Oh, man. Just tap out. Oh, we got to see a tap. Oh, my God. Springboard moonsault. Wow. Oh, swan time. The boy Zara, these consecutive attacks have him reeling. Yeah, and he keeps struggling to slow the opposition down. Oh, to a backbreaker, painful. We all know targeting the back of the spine is a great way to weaken a larger opponent. Crafty way to get out of harm there. This one's over. Why the heck would he do that? I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunt? Wait, small package. One, two, three. His arrogance got the better of him. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out of the referee. And another stunner for Owen. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match. to go live with a hit for the bump and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight you got a quick sec you got a bag of ice um no that is a bummer but chatting with you is not what do you want to know you really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed wwe universal championship but I have to ask, is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry, a fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just, your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. The only fluke is that I've been out here busting my butt for two years and it's taken them this long to give me the opportunity. What the WWE Universe is seeing is not a fluke. It's a guy telling each and every one of them, and you, it's about damn time. You did just take two stunners and win with a small package. That's not a fluke, Kayla. I call it strategy. I beat KO by outthinking KO. That sounds pretty egotistical coming from a guy who's about to face Braun Strowman in the semi-final match. The monster among men is going to do exactly what you and the rest of the WWE Universe are doing. Underestimating me. And that's why I'm fixing to win it all. Give him that on the bump. Somehow he keeps surviving. It's the Dark Horse. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 235 pounds. The BMG. He's already strung together two victories.
three tonight. Why not make it three? Why not? Because he's facing Braun Strowman. I don't think I need to say anything else. Well, this is it for the Dark Horse. He's had a good run. The monster. Guys, you are really beginning to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the tournament. Despite the result, Kale beat the hell out of him. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Brunt. Springboard. Shooting star. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Still Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Oh. Oh, springboard. Boom, into the cutter. Pinpoint precision right on target. Heading back to the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, God. And now that terrible error makes this a critical moment in the match. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. I don't like the look in his eye here. Blast off through the air and connects. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. He gets back into the ring. Super kick! A rare manhandling of Strowman here. Now you don't often have your way with him. Like this. And well-timed maneuver there. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Oh! Oh, what a kick. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I know what's coming next. Get ready. This spells trouble for Tom. His best Saxton stares up at the lights. Here's your winner. The bad guy, B.M.G. Somehow he has survived three matches and will advance to compete in the tournament finals against none other than Cody Rhodes. Just advancing this far is a huge accomplishment, but I'm sure the Dark Horse... <laughs>